Body bags were whole lies. Week 399, and I am your regular Wednesday evening host here at Body Bags. But it's Tuesday, and therefore it is a fill in review. And so I thought, you know, as you can see, this is the beginning, only the very, very beginnings of some new surroundings um, and how it all looks in the end. Uh, it's it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. Um, so without my movies out of their boxes yet, um, I decided to uh, take a look at Shudder, see if there's anything uh, going on that maybe I could even uh, spend a couple minutes and maybe uh, alert you to if you didn't know about it. Uh, and I did stumble upon a documentary um, called Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savani. And, uh, you know, I can't, I love Tom Savani. And if you got issue 304, I think it's 304 of Fingoria, the June edition, um, a great, uh, just a lot of great, great stuff about uh, uh, the maestro himself, Tom Savani, right? And so uh, I had not heard of this documentary, and so I decided to uh, check it out. It's streaming on Shudder. Um, I had to do a little look uh, prodding around the internet, and I only found one um, site. I think it's a DVD Planet Store, maybe. I found it on uh, DVD, this documentary, for about 15 bucks. Um, but it's streaming on Shudder, so another reason why you ought to have Shudder in your life. And uh, so I watched it, not once, but I did watch it again the other night. And uh, reading up on it a little bit, it is, of course, the story of Tom Savani. Jason Baker is the director. He had uh, he, he did some prop designing work uh, for both the uh, Dead Time Stories films. And so he's got a little bit of a history in the genre going back a little ways. And uh, this was his, uh, much like Fulci for fake, but not really. Uh, it is a love letter, his love for Tom Savani. And so he wanted to, uh, over the span, I think ultimately, this is a seven-year piece of work and investment in time. Uh, the film, it's the dates were all over the map. Uh, I think it got its official release in 19, maybe, although sometimes you see uh, 15 and 12 close together. Um, that's kind of going back to when they were probably just working on it, but 19. So it's about seven years, I think, uh, that he spent uh, interviewing. You got everyone in this thing, man, from Tom Atkins to Howard Berger, of course, uh, K&B, right? Uh, Greg Nicotero as well, Doug, uh, Doug Bradley, of course, Pinhead, right? Sid Haig uh, pops in there for just a second. George A. Romero, of course, you know he's going to pop in there for a little bit. And on and on and on and on. There's a lot of characters. Um, what did I think? Um, you know, I haven't watched a lot of documentaries recently, and so, but you can usually tell those that are extremely polished from those that are really just someone pouring out their love, and it may be really rough around the edges. And this one's kind of rough. Um, it's interesting. Uh, as, he's, uh, as he's getting clips, you know, interviewing, say, Savannah's daughter, uh, one minute, you know, uh, her hair may be cut one way, the next minute is totally different. And, and so it's like you got this sense that he did a lot of work over seven years about and just accumulating. And then, you know, the editing job is really stinking good as far as I'm concerned because I had no problem getting sucked right in and uh, it really served well to uh, just learn a lot about Tom, Tom Savannah, his early life growing up as a kid, his major influences, his brothers in his life, his sister, uh, his dad, of course, played a huge, huge influence in his life. Uh, of course, you know, we all know that he served in Vietnam, and so he gets into that uh, really interesting and gives quite an antidote uh, in terms of what he believes, uh, sort of a weird story involving uh, him uh you know, there's a tripwire. He was on guard duty. Tripwire gets hit. Something hits it. Instead of calling battalion like he's supposed to, he just unloads. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the uh, I believe it was a general came down to have words with him. And uh, he was taken off guard. But the very next night, things got insanely bad right where he had been. And so uh, had fired into the wood line the night before. 
apparently, and this is, you just got to hear it from his own, his own mouth to really believe it. But apparently it was a duck who had tripped the wire and he, of course, not knowing, just unloaded and everyone else started unloading into the, the uh, into the wood line. And uh, out comes this duck and flies away. And uh, as a result, of course, he's taken off, but he, uh, he's, he believes that that was, uh, that was a miracle of sorts that uh, he might have well died that very next night. And so, you know, uh, he goes into a lot, just a lot about his life, his marriages, uh, uh, the kids that he had, and uh, one in particular daughter who's given up adoption and, uh, when she's just a baby. Um, he had actually enlisted in the army just so he could um, take care of the family. And uh, come to find out, she's the baby, the parents' uh, forced adoption. And uh, but later on, uh, this girl comes around looking for her family and is shocked to find that uh, having become a huge fan of Tom Savini, uh, he's her father, uh, isn't that? Uh, so just a lot of weird stories and uh, a lot of nice little antidotes by uh, a lot of the people close to him in his life. But again, these things were all done across about a seven-year period. And so there may be moments where things kind of come across a little bit of rough. But, you know, when it's someone kind of giving a, working out a love letter of sorts to someone that they really love and adore and have much respect for, uh, in the end, Smoke and Mirrors uh, is definitely worth the watch, especially if you really don't know that much about Tom Savani. Uh, you will feel as though you've taken a few big steps forward and with a bit of a knowledge that has suddenly accrued in your mind, just kind of understanding where he's come from. Um, of course, the uh, the school that he will uh, he will found in order to uh, uh, encourage uh, new special effects artists, uh, and that's the other thing too. Going back into his early life and the impact that the stage had on him and acting, I had no idea about some of this stuff uh, that he could that he acted on the stage and sung and. Uh, just, I mean, it's amazing when you really get to see someone evolve from seemingly nowhere over the course of their life into where they suddenly become. And then, of course, how he runs into, you know, how him and George uh, get together. And then, of course, the, you know, the 80s will explode and he'll be at the, you know, he'll be somewhat the centerpiece of the special effects explosion. Uh, so it's just Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savani. It is streaming on Shudder. It is definitely worth checking out if you got Shudder, if you have not seen it yet. Um, definitely, just a lot of fun stuff. Um, probably a real, real small release on physical media. Um, I think uh, Allegheny Image Factory uh, produced this documentary, and that sort of harkens back to me because I lived in Western New York for much of my life, not far from the PA border, and so Allegheny is a is a very familiar name for me, and so this is definitely probably a byproduct of, you know, someone living in Pittsburgh, I'm sure. Um, so, anyways, uh, just as you're feeling more than anything, uh, I'm just here to tell you you need to check out Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savani, directed by one Jason Baker. Uh, it is fun. It is definitely, definitely worthwhile experience to check it out. Uh, as always, we leave these things off with Go Bills.